Sometimes I teach players that have a pretty strong baseball background and they're learning golf a little bit later in life. So they have this understanding of how to swing and, and, and create momentum and to strike something with a bat or, or a stick. So they have a, a good reference point for, uh, for kind of ball and stick sports. But one thing that I see that always stays with them is that there's this, the intent of, of different types of sports and the way that we transfer momentum and the timing of that momentum transfer is, is quite different from golf. So the application of the understanding of how to swing a baseball bat is really helpful for actually swinging a golf club once you kind of understand what I'm going to, what's going to be the topic of this video basically, is that your baseball swing actually works very well in golf as long as you understand where the delivery point of maximum speed and momentum is supposed to be. And so I'm going to use my pro here without a grip on it to kind of get, a, get an understanding. So one of the unique things that happens in, in those lessons that I'll, I'll have with players that particularly tend to like leave the face open or hit kind of slices is that they, if they have a baseball background, they tend to want to open everything up really fast. So they, want, they, they, they tend to make a movement that spins the chest for a long period of time and then the cylinder comes out like that. And so oftentimes I'll have them, they'll grab, I'll, I'll have them grab the pro for the first time here and say, okay, let's just take a few swings. I'll show them kind of my swing here and how it's kind of looking more like a golf swing. And I'll have them do that. And then what usually comes out is something more like this. And if you watch the difference between these, here's kind of my golfing, my golf swing with my pro. And then here's my, here's the baseball movement. You can see that the momentum doesn't really transfer to the rope and to the cylinder until way out here, okay? Now, I know there's a lot in speed training about trying to get the speed out front. There's different reasons for that as far as trying to get the body to work a little differently. But as far as like the delivery of momentum and the timing of it, it's, it's very different. And so I find that baseball players, their reference point again is kind of target and coming into something and trying to get ahead of it. And so if like this was home, if this was the plate in baseball and the pitcher's coming from over here, I don't want the ball to get past me, so I can't have a late swing. So my tendency is to try to get out and to try to get the bat ahead of the plate, and so I'm gonna get there before the ball actually gets there. And so there's a lot more opening up. Not, not also to mention that I have a very wide range to hit the ball into, but I'm also looking at the, picture, at the pitcher as I try to hit, so things tend to open up differently. So the transfer of momentum is excellent in a baseball swing, especially in some of our power hitters. You still take momentum from your, your, your opening of your lower body helps spin your thorax and that swings your arms and then ultimately swings the bat. That all happens, but the difference is, is again, we're trying to beat the ball to the plate. We're trying to send it out and our tension's all forward there. In golf, it changes a little bit. We actually need to have the same type of, same, same type of idea, but now we want to get the momentum out earlier. And I've been amazed when I explained to a baseball player that, no, instead of trying to get it out here, I need you to get it over here, like like almost like you're kind of swinging late, or you're gonna be you're gonna be late getting to getting the getting the uh, the the bat to the plate. It changes everything, <laughs> and why that happens is because as long as your thorax is in an accelerating movement, or you're trying to spin, your arms are in a lagging movement. They're gonna stay behind. It, so until your arms finally kick off your chest, and then finally your arms have to slow down for the bat, or for the cylinder, or for the golf club to come around. If all of that is directed late, well then you won't let yourself miss the ball. So you'll start trying to use your hands to try to kind of hit at it. And of course that starts to lead to some serious significant power loss. So, I mean, if we could get a, a baseball player and tee the ball up way up in front, a lot of times they would just, they'd, they'd annihilate it. But the fact that the ball's down in the front of them, they have to change their, you have to change your perception. And so if you're somebody that struggles with actually striking or, or kind of hitting a fade or getting ahead of it, and it even has like a heavy early cast, oftentimes it's just simply that you're actually moving this piece too far. You're doing too much what I would call kind of baseball movements, golf movements, the arms actually get out in front of the chest way over here. So they're almost, they're immediately picking up the speed of the thorax and the arms are accelerating super fast here. And so we end up looking more like this when we hit it. Whereas a baseball player looks more like this when they hit it. Their hands are way out and the bat's way out over here. So if you can understand that, that the difference in intent between those two things, and you can start to get, you can start to get to understand that, hey, I'm, it's not bad what you're doing with a baseball bat. You just need to get it off of you early. Then that can dramatically change the way that you actually swing, swing your golf club as well. 
So in retrospect, again, a baseball swing is driven for a longer period of time by opening up the chest. So the energy of the arms and the back kick later, whereas in a golf swing, we want the same things, but we want to make sure that our arms get off the body early so everything can line up and strike right at the moment of impact. All right, hope you guys all found that helpful and we'll see you next time.